Hi guys, it's Matthew again. Today is 5th of June 2021 and uh, in this video we're going to be showing you how to trade on spot. That's a uh, cryptocurrency trading on spot which is the main trading on the Binance uh, uh, platform. And for those who have not been following the cryptocurrency uh, video sequences we've been releasing uh, in the past uh, one month, we've covered the account sign up and the account verification, account funding for global traders, account funding for Nigerians, uh, withdraw and deposit options, more withdrawals and deposit options, how to buy cryptocurrency for long term, uh, keep that as a buying the dip, then the spot trading using the limit trading, this is what we are focusing on today, and uh, we've released videos on all these previous uh, steps right there, you can see this, 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 so we've released videos on all those ones as well, so check the video, uh, check the YouTube page for all that, so these are YouTube uh, channels, subscribe to all our channels for all the previous videos we released, and for those who don't have a trading account, we're going to paste all these links in the video description on YouTube, so check the link to subscribe to all our channels. For those who don't have a trading account, there's a link to sign up for a free trading account, www.binance.com slash en slash registered question mark equals 138775674. So that's a link to sign up for a free trading account to watch all the previous uh, videos we released on the uh, cryptocurrency uh, trading and uh, for nigerians how to fund using uh transfer and other funding options right there so i'm going to use the coin app so we're monitoring the you can also download the coin market app as stated earlier so the top gainers for within 24 hours the top losers the latest news and uh, recently added coins then the ranking as well if you tap this uh you can see the the coin market app right there let me just go to here okay the second uh, icon there you will see the ranking of the cryptocurrencies uh bitcoin is still leading uh ethereum is number two theta is number three is a stable coin uh binance coin as well number four cardano dogecoin number six you can see all the rankings right here so we are going to go back to the binance app so you can see I've logged in. I believe you've all verified your account. You verified your Binance account by uploading your uh, verification documents. So and I, I've assumed you've already funded your account and you already have your USDT in your wallet. So let's just place a, a, a sample of trade. And you can I, I currently have uh, some Dodge right here, which I'm still keeping on the. I also have a few USDT here, about 12.22. It's a stable coin. So, and I've already released video on how to fund your account and move that fund uh, from your P2P wallet to your USDT. Or if you have, if you, if you, if you funded using cryptocurrency, you can also buy directly using your cryptocurrency. So, I, I have some BTC on this uh, account as well, so I can also buy. Uh, with BTC against uh, other coin if I don't want to use the USDT so but in this video we're going to be using the USDT so I've logged in once you've logged into your Binance account all you have to do is to click on trade it's always at this uh, down uh, middle icon after the home market you will see the trade feature and wallets so you click on trade depends on the device you are using I'm using an iPhone so if you're using an Android just locate trade on your phone then once you click on trade you can see on the top corner there you saw convert sports margin fiat p2p you click on the spots then on the coin you if you want to search for the coin you want to buy let's assume you want to buy you want to trade btc against uh usdt which is a stable coin usdt is it is a stable coin it's also called tada is a stable coin it doesn't fluctuate like other cryptos so it's a stable coin you use to buy other coin so let's assume you are buying btc you search for btc slash usdt you can see btc is currently 36,085 because it has changed again to 07 this is the way it fluctuates depends on the uh market uh trading the volume and uh, other people that are buying and selling you can see all those things right there so here i'm going to be using the dodge because i have some dodge and few uh, USDT so I click on dodge right there then I'm going to be clicking on the double 
uh, candles right there before the dollar sign here so I'm going to tap on it to check the market uh, uh, volume uh, within maybe one hour 15 minutes or so you see what has gone uh, what has really gone on the lows the high and all that so you can see I'm seeing line 15 minutes one hour four hours one day this is four hours ago one day one hour ago and all that so if you have not if you are not seeing this on your mobile device all you have to do is to tap on the icon after deph that you type on it then you tap on more then the intervals you mark all these that you are seeing here the line the one hour four h and all that then on the indicator as well you can mark ma bol ema and all that so once you do that you'll be able to see all these things i'm seeing on the screen so I want to check what I'm currently want to check is to see how the market did maybe one hour ago. So I change, I tap on one hour, then I click on uh, the current, the time currently is. Uh, so I'm going to change this to. Okay, okay, this thirteen hundred okay this seventeen hundred okay this one hour ago you can see oh six oh five that's fifth of june five pm so we are currently around six forty something pm that's one hour plus ago so you can see the low the high there all you have to to see all these things i'm seeing it as the volume the transactions and everything the lows the high that's all this information i'm seeing on the left corner on the screen there all you have to do is to tap on the screen tap on the screen where the candles are you can see the red green candles once you tap on it you will see all oh, this is going to bring it out so the low about one hour ago that's one hour plus the low was the low that's the lowest was 0 0.37300 then the highest was 0 0.37873 so it just around about 500 point something pips uh, high there so let's assume let me just check four hours ago as well let me check four hours ago let's see what the low was four hours ago okay this uh yesterday okay this is a uh, 1 p.m today so the low was 0.36267 so it was low here and it even went as high as 0.38 uh, three four four you can see the time that's 5th june 2021 and 1 p.m that's 1300 and we're currently around 6 48 p.m right here gmt so the low here was 0 0.362 so let's assume i want to buy at 0 0.336267 i still believe it is the go low maybe in the next few hours all i need to do after checking all these uh, records here i just go to buy then i entered 0 0.36 two six two right here then maybe i want to buy 27 dodge or 28 dodge right there then i click on done all i all i just need to do is to click on buy then i'll click on confirm so you can see the order has been placed the order has been placed the order has been created so what this indicates is this one even if i'm not around and i close my app or i close my phone when the price drops down to 0.36262 it's going to buy for me it's automatically it's going to place the trade it's going to execute the trade so this is what it means then if i if i've maybe if, I, if i've already bought maybe the trade has been executed and i want to make some money and um, i i i bought around 0.36 two six two and i want to sell around maybe you can see the current price is around 0 0.3738 if i want to sell around this once i've already bought i will set come to sell then enter the limits which i want to buy then i'll now enter the amount i want to sell then i click on sell so once it hits the price it's going to sell as well so let's assume i want to sell when it hits uh, maybe 0 0.45 which has not I, I don't think in the, in the one hour and uh, one week uh, trade span it has hit this but nothing is uh, impossible it might hit it within a day or two maybe if you said 0 0.44500 or so then you enter the amount you want to sell maybe 10 dodge uh, maybe 10 dodge then uh, you click on sell dodge then you click on confirm so the amount must be greater than 10 so i'm going to enter 27 dodge then i'll click on sell then i'll click on confirm you can see the sell trade has been placed as well the sell trade has been placed as well so what this one what this actually indicates this it indicates is this uh when the price hits 0.45 that i set here 
is going to sell for me automatically so i will have made some money i will have made some once it sell automatically i will make some money so that's how to trade within maybe hourly time frame or minutes time frame or daily time frame that are to trade uh, the cryptocurrency market so you can we are using dodge as an example you can also trade other currencies like ethereum all you have to do is to click on that on the top uh, uh where the co uh, coin is there as a dodge slash usdt if you are trading ethereum you type eth slash usdt right there you tap on it so you can see currently ethereum is 2619.57 it will change again you can see it's changing right there you can see the volume as well so and all that you can see everything so you can see i have open orders that's two open orders for dodge so if i want to go back to that open orders where you see open orders in bracket two right there and the extreme you see the icon that looks like a, a print or something you tap on it so let's assume i want to cancel this i don't want to buy again or sell again all i need to do is to tap on cancel then this as well if i don't want to buy all i need to do is to tap on cancel right there so i've canceled those orders before they were executed so now another thing you can do is you can also set an alert let's assume dodge is two dodge is currently 2618.83 you want to set an alert for you for when the price drops or when the price goes high on the candle the double candle before the dollar sign you tap on it then you can see the currency on the down corner then you see a lot on the second icon there you tap on a lot so you can if you want to set an alarm when the price rises above so 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 it should notify you maybe when the price rises above 2700 uh usd you just create an alert so i've created an alert once this price rises above 2700 it's going to notify me on my phone a notification you can also set an alert that when the price drops maybe to maybe you are willing to buy around uh, 2500 and uh, you want to set an alert you can set an alert that when the price dropped to 2000 value should be larger uh, okay uh, drops you, you tap on the alert type you can see all the alert type there and you tap you you enter the amount 2500 maybe that's what that's what you want to buy when the price drops to 2500 usd you create that alert as well so once you create the alert when the price drops it's going to notify you as well so you weekly log into your binance account then you buy at that price then you can wait again when the price rises you sell so that's how to trade uh, the cryptocurrencies uh, spot trading using the limit trading and to also monitor the market uh the volumes the highs the low and all that so don't forget to subscribe to all our channels for more uh, videos on the cryptocurrency trading and for those who haven't signed up uh this is the link to sign up for a free trading account you can see the link right there as a link to sign up for a free trading account don't forget these are the links to subscribe to all our channels to watch our previous videos on the crypto trading thanks for watching bye